Hey guys, Apple Maniac YT here. Um, as you saw from the title of the thumbnail of this video, today I'm going an Apple collection video for the month of February 2022. I skipped January, I don't know why, I was really busy, didn't have a lot of time to make YouTube videos, but I'm back with another Apple Collection video. Let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm gonna make this video a lot quicker than my other Apple Collection videos, because I don't feel like sitting here for 30 minutes. First is this white iPhone 3DS. It's untethered downgraded to iOS 3.1.3. I don't think I've shown that before on my channel. May, t may make a tutorial sometime, I don't know. This is another iPhone 3GS. This is black. I got this for free in the free iPhone 3GS and more video. I got this and a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This is another iPhone 3GS black. Um, I don't know much about this one because I have three of the same model. This is an iPhone 3G, 8GB, I believe. 8GB, yeah. Uh, this one hasn't worked in a long time. This is another black iPhone 3GS, 8GB. And here is yet another black iPhone 3GS 8GB. Now, one of these three is running iOS 4.0, and I got it in a tech lot in 2019. I'm not sure which one. I'll have to figure that out some other time. Next would be this iPhone 4S, I believe. This is either running iOS 6 or iOS 8.4.1. Not sure, because it's dead. Here's another... Um, Oh, this is an iPhone 4 CDMA. This is in mint condition, just about, and is untethered downgraded to iOS 6.1.3. Might make a tutorial for that soon. You, you actually need a MacBook to downgrade this one. This is another iPhone 4. Oh, this is a regular iPhone 4 model. Actually, iPhone 4 Revision A. Seems to be turning on. Uh, I'm not sure if it will. I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah, because it's tethered downgraded to iOS 5.1.1. Oh, wait, no, 6.1.6. 6.1.3, God. Um, this is another iPhone 4 CDMA. This is on iOS 6.1.3. Did not downgrade this one, got it on eBay for $7 in 2020. And I think this one's rarer than my other downgraded one, even though this one is in mint condition. This one has not been downgraded as it doesn't flash the iOS 7 Apple logo when booting. Now this is another iPhone 4 CDMA. This is on iOS uh, 5.1.1, I believe. I, un I tethered downgraded it. It works. It crashes a lot, though, which is not good. I think there's something wrong with the motherboard. This is another iPhone 4S. This is on either iOS 8 or 6.1.3, 8.4.1 1, to be exact. Not sure because it's also dead. I didn't charge any of these. Uh, just the ones that happen to have charge will be shown while turned on in this video. This is an iPhone 5C in white, supposed to be yellow. The yellow housing is down at the bottom of this stack. This is on iOS 7.1.1. I didn't like the yellow color and the housing speed up, and I got a white housing and screen for really cheap on eBay, so I just transferred it to a white color. And it's on iOS 7.1.1. Don't know if I mentioned that. Here's another iPhone 5, or not another, haven't shown one yet. Uh, this is a black and slate. It's a little beat up down there. It's iCloud locked, doesn't have a screen, and I got this for parts in October 2021. This is another iPhone 5S. This is, why am I saying another? I haven't shown another 5S. This is just a 5S, it has a screen. I found this under my bed recently, didn't have the screen. This screen used to be on this iOS 10.3.3 device, but this one, it does work. It's on 12.4.8 and it's dead currently. It has a terrible battery. I got this back in October 2020, actually. This is a gold iPhone 5S in near mint condition on iOS 10.1.1. I got this in April 2020, and it does not have the original home button, unfortunately, and this screen was on, on here. I'm gonna swap it back over soon. Here is a black and slate iPhone 5 that, ooh, is charged. It's on iOS 10.3.3 and jailbroken, but there is a bug. Uh, I'm not going to kickstart the jailbreak right now, but it does say um, HTTP, me HTTP method, uh, something crashed, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember the exact error message. It, I will show it as on iOS 10.3.3 though. There we go, 10.3.3. Had that since 2019 actually. 
Here's another iPhone 5. This is white. It's a little cracked. My last Apple Collection videos, it was not cracked. I dropped it, unfortunately, which is really sad. But I downgraded it to iOS 8.4.1. I think just last night, actually. Runs a lot faster on iOS 8, and I really prefer Slide to Unlock over the uh, Press Home to Unlock for the iPhone 5. And here is the yellow iPhone 5C. This has a motherboard issue where the time doesn't change. It was smashed in by a mallet. You can kind of see right there. It's not that It's not that good. And it hasn't had a screen on it for a very long time. This was the original frame that went on this iPhone 5C right here. This is an iPhone 6 that, oh, is charged. This is running iOS 8.3, I believe. It's on... 4% battery, so I kind of need to show this quick. The battery isn't the best. Uh, I was 8.3, yes. I got this on eBay. It was iCloud locked. I think I paid $20 to some sketchy website to unlock it, and they unlocked it for me, and it works now. This was back in 2019. I wasn't very smart then. Uh, this is an iPhone 6S on iOS 13.7. I really like this one. Oh, my God. Here we go. This is a good one. About... 13.7 success. Uh, this one works great. I think it's a 32 gigabyte. Oh, no, 64 gigabyte. Not bad. Uh, this is another iPhone 6. Water damaged. Got this. Used the screen off of it. It was kind of cracked down here. Put it on here along with the battery. Uh, and I don't know why I kept it. Probably for parts. I don't know. Might use it for parts. Probably will. Another iPhone 6S. This one is horribly destroyed. I think I blew it up with a firecracker even. This is for my 400 subscribers video. Didn't blow, up, didn't blow it up with a firecracker for the video. Blew it up afterwards, uh, recently actually. Took out the Apple logo and put it in another phone. I'll show you soon. Uh, this is another iPhone 6. This one works. It's iCloud bypassed. I iCloud bypassed it and then it got messed up and it wouldn't boot so I reset it and now the iCloud bypass doesn't work. I don't know. This thing's really confusing me and it still won't reset properly. I can't uh, factory reset it or flash it with iOS 12. This is an iPhone 6 that I've had since 2017. Works great. I really like this one. It's actually a refurbished iPhone 6, if you can see there. It's a silver model. It has a cheap Amazon screen on it that I got um, with another phone, I believe, in like 2019. It works. It's on iOS 12.5.5 and jailbroken. All right, on to the last stack. This is an iPhone 7, jet black, running, oh, let's see, it's not dead, iOS 15.0 beta, hold on, general, about, oh, 15.1 beta, actually not beta, it's just regular 15.1, it, it works really good, I really like this one, it's 120 gigabyte, found this in a recycling bin, a target bin in 2020, running iOS 12.4, I believe. I don't know why I ever updated it. It was a bad idea. Uh, this is an iPhone 8. My personal iPhone 8 that I used for about a year and a half is really shattered because I dropped an iPhone 5 on it uh, while trying to film an Apple Collection video once, uh, right when I was cleaning up the Apple Collection video. It's pretty cracked on the back. Touch ID doesn't function the best, and the camera is broken on the back. 64 gigabyte. It's not the best iPhone 8. Here's another iPhone 7. This one's rose gold. I really like this one. I got this from my neighbor for free, actually, in December 2020. I helped her pair uh, an Apple Watch to her new iPhone 12, and she didn't want her iPhone 7 anymore, so I got a free rose gold 32 gigabyte iPhone 7 with just a tiny crack near the home button. I almost broke the home button, actually, by filming an iPhone 4S left out in the snow I tried to time lapse it, didn't turn out at all because the flashlight that I had propped up died. And it and water got in the home button, but I fixed it. Uh don't ask what this is. This is an iPhone 7, uh matte black with no battery, an Apple logo that I ripped out of an iPhone 6S, a random white home button that I ordered to fix a red iPhone 7 that I ordered January 3rd, 2022. And something like the buy the Seller couldn't ship it. They couldn't get my information or something. So I was unable to get the phone. So I got a selfie camera and a home button for it and no phone. So I ended up, ended up wasting $10. So I just put it in here. It doesn't even have a battery. It has loop disease and it's just a parts phone at this point. All right, uh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. 
it's not good. And here's an iPod Touch, 6th Gen, Space Gray. Uh, the battery is defective. I need to get a screen for this one and then maybe fix the battery. But the batteries on these things, if I can show, are soldered on. I can't show it. Now I gotta put this shield back on. All right, next iPod Touch. Uh, here it is, this is a blue one, 6th Gen. Don't even ask, I bent it in half. Then took out the battery and burned it with a blowtorch and ripped off the screen. It's really messed up now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even keeping it. Might destroy it more for a video. Probably off camera with a metal baseball bat. I don't know. I'm thinking of ways to get rid of it now. Here's an iPod Nano or iPod Shuffle, actually. Don't know what generation this is. Please, somebody tell me in the comments. I got this when I was like five years old. It has some really old music on it. Haven't used it since I was like five years old, so it's been a lot of years. Okay, uh, here's a pair of AirPods first gen with a. Oh my god. I, it sounds like a lighter. Uh, it's nasty first gens. I need to clean them and I'm gonna give them to my mom because she needs AirPods. Third gens. Oh god. Got these for Christmas 2021. I really like these. Uh, they're really scratched up now because I put them in my school backpack every single day and they get jumbled around with a bunch of pencils and sticky notes, which is not good. You can see a lot of scratching on the back. Also from where I put it on a wireless charger. And finally, my Apple Watch SE that I use every single day, not a day that I don't wear this device. I really like this thing. It is the 40 millimeter. It's really dirty. Sorry about that. 40 millimeter aluminum space gray. I really like this Apple Watch. I don't have the band or case on it right now, so I can show it really well. All right, now done with the first drawer, on to the second. Now, before I get started with this, I wanna answer a question that a lot of people have asked me. How do I store my Apple collection? Well, I have these two drawers, two different drawers, I keep the iPads and MacBook in one, and then iPhones, iPods, and AirPods, everything else that'll fit in the other drawer in here. And I and they both fit into a spot right next to my head, uh, in my headboard on my bed. So that's how I store it for anyone who is wondering. I know a couple people have asked me in the comments section on some of my other videos, even some of my community posts, I don't know. Anyways, now I'll start with the iPads. Here's an iPad mini second gen later i'm not updating this thing um remind me later i don't care i'm not updating it it's jailbroken on ios 10.3.3 it's my first ipad i got it in 2016 i still have it it's really badly cracked though and it's got tape on the home button here's an ipad air 2 i think Yes, this is an iPad Air 2. That's the 7th gen. It's a little dirty, but if I clean that off, it is in absolute mint condition. Not a scratch on this thing. It's running iPad OS 15 beta. Don't use it very much. But I do have SHSH Bob saved for iOS 13. So if I'm able to jailbreak this thing, then I might be able to get back to iOS 13 or iPad OS 13. Someone let me know. 13.4.1 is the version that I have them saved for. If anyone knows how to do those, let me know, please, because I want to downgrade it and haven't found a very good tutorial. This is an iPad 7th gen that my mom found in a parking lot and gave it to me to do iCloud unlock, and I cannot because there's no iOS or iPad OS 15 jailbreak yet uh, to iCloud bypass it. So it's just been sitting in my drawer collecting dust. Here is a very heavy iPad 2 that's actually heavier than my 2014 MacBook Air. This thing, I got this for free from my uncle, who is a firefighter, who recovered this from a fire. It works. I had to replace the battery, LCD, and digitizer. It was a really expensive project. It was like $70, but it works. I downgraded it to iOS 6.1.3. It's really nice. It's really heavy, though. Ah, here it is. This is my 2014 MacBook Air 11-inch uh, with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 128 gigabyte SSD. This thing works amazingly, and I got it on eBay for about $200. It doesn't have a scratch on it. Like, this thing is mint. I will open it up real quick and log in. All right, guys, here we are. I got it logged in. Uh, I just used my channel art as my wallpaper, just the full size. 
I use this thing to edit all my videos using iMovie, obviously, because I'm not paying for Final Cut Pro. Three, I'm not paying $300. I'm, I'm, I'm not rich. Uh, it might seem like I'm rich because I have all this stuff, but I'm really not. Uh, this is the most used Apple product I have in here, or the one that I use the most, probably, or have used the most in one day, I'd want to say. I don't use it a ton every day. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe, and I don't get many comments on my videos, so leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, and with that, I guess, peace out, guys.